Paris aviation analyst joining us uh, from the Shard in London. Alex, great to talk to you again. The 787, what's your reading of what the whistleblower has been saying and can we believe it? Good afternoon, Peter. Well, it is more concerning uh, whistleblower reports specifically from the South Carolina plant where Boeing produced the 787 Dreamliner. Now, Boeing as a manufacturer, they produced the 787 from two plants, uh, one in Seattle and one here in South Carolina. And for a long time, there have been questions over quality at Boeing's South Carolina plant, specifically on the 787 Dreamliner. So, of course, with new reports now suggesting that in some tests, oxygen uh, was failing to leave the cylinder and come through to passenger masks, uh, as much as a 25% failure rate during some tests, that is concerning. But what I do want to clarify is that Boeing did concede and say they recognized there was a problem in 2017, and they have since sorted that, basically to ensure that none of those 40 cylinders ended up in commercial service. All of these claims, of course, kind of come to us almost in, in, in a off-the-radar off kind of a way. This time last week, we were talking on this program, on our 15G News Hour, to a former union rep, and she was saying she had heard lots of maybe apocryphal kind of over a cup of coffee conversations from former employees and current employees saying the checking and the self-checking at Boeing is an issue. Of course, we cannot say that is a fact, but there are people out there who've worked for the company or they, they work for the company still. They do not feel comfortable here. Right. And Al Jazeera in 2014 were the pioneers of an investigation into Boeing's South Carolina plant where they did expose quality concerns. That was over five years ago. If I bring you forward to this summer, June 2019, the flag carrier of the Netherlands, KLM, they publicly slammed Boeing's production at South Carolina. They said that quality is, quote, way below standard. And that was referring to their 787 Dream that they took delivery of this year. So to think that we are five years down the line and there are still concerns over quality at Boeing South Carolina plant, uh, that is something that the industry needs to take a long and hard look at. And the Irish carrier Ryanair, they've taken the decision to ground several of their 737s. They're not flying the 737 MAX. Nobody is flying. It's the, it's the older 737 iteration because they've found what are called pickle cracks, pickle fork cracks, where the wings meet the main body of the aircraft. They're clearly putting passenger safety first, which is great, thank you Ryanair, but that's another issue which Boeing have to address. It is, so there are 7,000 Boeing 737 NGs flying worldwide currently. 1,000 have been checked, 50 have been found to have these cracks on this large structural component that joins the fuselage, the aircraft body, with the wing. Ryanair, they are one of the many airlines who have now reported these cracks and they've taken them out of service in order to rectify this. This is something Boeing is addressing. Of course, optics-wise, it's not a good look. The 737 MAX still grounded worldwide and now more problems with the current and existing 737. Alex, good to talk to you as ever. Thanks for joining us here on the News app.